flawlessly tacked that ball, got there ahead of the goalkeeper. There was nothing David Clark could do about it, or Jer Cafferkey. Sheer determination won that for Michael Murphy, and now he's fully determined with his Donegal colleagues now to hold on to the lead and to take the cup back to Donegal for the second time ever. Murphy once again loses it this time. Cafferkey has it, kicks it down. They need scores urgently now, Mayo. They're getting nothing easily, however. Killian O'Connor dragged down this time by Paddy McGrath, free in. A lot of people in Donegal have been critical of Murphy this year that he hasn't been scoring enough, but he's ex uh, you know, exercising a decisive influence on the outcome today. Well, Mayo haven't scored yet from play in this second half, but they need scores from somewhere. Aidan O'Shea trying to get possession, looking to play it to a loose player, a spare player in the red and green of Mayo, and it's eventually Killian O'Connor who kicks it waywardly away to the left-hand side. And they're almost running out of gas, this particular Mayo team in this challenge. And it's almost 11 minutes since they last scored. It is, yes, and it's incumbent on the subs that come in. The Jason Givens, the Alan Freemans, you know, and uh, Richie Phoenix at this time to, in, you know, infuse a little bit more energy into the team. Lots of other fellas have emptied the tank nearly at this stage. It's big, big, big last 10, 15, uh, whatever it is, nine or ten minutes for Mayo. Well, that's the Sunday game, of course. It's on tonight, 9.30 with Des Cahill. We'll be at the Winners Hotel. And don't forget before that, good radio programmes, Brian Carty at after, just after six on Radio 1, championship programme, and then Debbie and O'Reilly with uh, Take Your Point at seven. Your chance to comment on what you see today in the 2012 final. Lee Keegan for Mayo. Played in here towards Donald Vaughan, couldn't take it. Instead, it is a very dominant-looking Donegal side now, and Eamon McGee in command. And they're playing it out here with sheer determination and uh, a swagger and a style which has been part and parcel of their play all season. McElhenney diagonally across, asking an awful lot of McFadden, and he chases after that one, it went off the boot of Kevin Kane, it's going to be a line ball for Danny Gaul, who are now just about six and a half minutes away from the final whistle, or close to it, and they've that two-goal cushion the whole time, and those two vital goals coming in the opening 11 minutes of this game, McFadden getting the second of those, kicks it in, goes very, very long. It won't matter a great deal at this stage because they have that comfortable lead. And uh, Michael Murphy taking umbrage with something that happened there involving Kevin Kane. Mayo kick it out quickly, out to Alan Dillon. Played in the final of 2004 and scored a goal that day. Played in 2006, lost those two finals. And it's not looking too good here. But there is still time and uh, you never know. Here's Kevin McLaughlin, everybody for Donegal virtually back there, the kind of blanket defence, but Richie Feeney trying to steal a march on them all, onto the right and hitting it over the bar. His second ever championship point and a valuable contribution. It just about keeps Mayo going here, five between them once again, but now the time ticking down to about five minutes from the finish. His family steeped in the traditions of Gaelic games in Mayo and the Mayo fans here just trying to raise a cheer once again now to get right behind the team if they can win some primary possession in and around midfield because Donegal have been known in the past to take their foot off the pedal metaphorically for the last few minutes. Lee Keegan advancing, hitting with some difficulty, it's up into the air. Oh, lands on the netting and goes over the ball. Well, he is a great driving force, Lee Keegan, the 22-year-old from Westport, playing today in his seventh championship match. Down it came, bang onto the netting, and now it's a four-point game, and nobody's giving up just yet where Mayo's concerned. An absolute beauty, and I just talked a couple of moments ago about the impact the subs needed to make. Richie Feeney in the last two plays has contributed a point and assist that time. They need one or two more. Paul Durkin again. They need to win this one. And they do. Back down to Colin Boyle. Sending it in long. Remember, Aidan O'Shea's in there now, but then Johnny Gall have got a covering back in front of him. Very, very clever tactics. They have a lot of players back. And Johnny Gall hold the possession here now, will weather this little storm and realise there is still some work to do. Rory Cavada. They've been through many a crisis in the last couple of years. 
came back from that horrible beating against Armagh two years ago in the Championship on the same day that Mayo were knocked out by Longford. And the 20 of the 30 players who played that day are in action in this All-Ireland final. It's still Donegal and it's still David Walsh. Again, they try and work it forward. Christy Toy now, battle-hardened warrior over the years. Going nowhere because he's surrounded by Mayo players, but it's back to David Walsh once more. Now Neil Gallagher, space on the left-hand side. Frank McGlynn cleverly using that space. Back in again, it comes towards him. Beautifully constructed, neatly choreographed, and finished by Neil Gallagher, knocking it over the bar. The big, physically imposing midfielder gets up to get just his first point in this match, the third in this year's championship, three or four players involved, and that could be very, very important. Highly decisive, I would think. I agree with you, Jerk. It's the decisive score of the match, and it has uh, probably set the seal for a Donegal victory. Back come Mayo. Richie Feeney once again. Jerk Cafferkey trying to join the attack. Likewise, Keith Higgins. And while they were considering their move, the ball was stolen by Donegal and swiftly forward by McElhenney once more. Christy Toy, who was the architect of that last attack, holding it up here now, with the steadying influence in and around midfield, able to hold the ball, shave a few seconds off the clock as we get closer and closer to 70 minutes. 68 minutes gone, and once again, it's Rory Kavanagh sending it in as far as Carol Lacey. Lacey just holding it, taking it back from McElhenney, Again, trying to locate a colleague, but that time picking out Feeney. And on now as far as McLaughlin. Mayo need a goal. Two against two, and there's an extra player going back to help out. In fact, two. Thompson, the other extra player who went back for Danny Goal. When there's a sniff of danger, they all go back and they shoulder the responsibility collectively. Yeah, but the collective work that time with Freeman and Aiden wasn't that, you know, was poor because if one of them had gone for the ball, the other broke it, I think something more could have come of it. Donald Vaughan, back to Cafferkey. In here as far as Killian O'Connor, all his points have come from Freeze when he was in around full forward. Jason Gibbons hitting it long, very neatly so, over the bar. Really good play by Jason Gibbons there. And uh, Jason Gibbons getting his first ever championship point. But is it far too late and far too little because there are still four between them? Yeah, Donegal at the moment looks set fair to win this game. Don uh, Mayo will need a goal, <laughs> obviously what I'm saying, but they'll need a goal or two, I think, to win this game. But I cannot see them overcoming them by, you know, by scoring five points in the last couple of minutes. Well, Shane O'Shea has come on for uh, Barry Mullen. Getting a few minutes of action here as Kevin McLaughlin carries it forward once again in the 70th minute of this final where Mayo made an awful start battled hard to get themselves back into it but there was always that gap closest they could get to it for about three minutes maybe here you never know still possible stumbling falling and eventually the referee has gone in from a distance and said play on and Mayo looked like they were lining up for a score there your Shane O'Shea and your Jason Gibbons in there foraging, waiting. Three minutes of added time are going to be played as we watch this again. Alan Freeman, Shane O'Shea, down went Rory Kavanagh. Still, it was Shane O'Shea. Yeah, I think in fairness, Shane lost his balance that time. I don't think he was fouled, and Dorkin is perfectly entitled to yep. gather the ball inside the small right angle like that. No question about it, he did stumble and the goalkeeper was, as you say, absolutely entitled to do what he did. And the end result, a free out. So 30 seconds of the opening three minutes of uh, added time is now being played. And there's the Summer Guire Cup, first presented in 1928. And the first winners were Kildare. Will the latest winners be Dunny Goal? Into stoppage time. And once again, it is Mayo... A one and a free kick, and it's going to be taken here by Shami O'Shea. Better hurry. They need a couple of quick goals, and I don't think it's going to happen for them because this is a mean, resolute Dunny goal defence. And down went Anthony Tompkins under the weight of that challenge. Yes, and this suits Dunny goal perfectly. Aidan O'Shea came in that time, fouled Anthony Thompson, probably will take a booking as a consequence. 
and slows the game down and perfect for Donegal. It's of no benefit whatsoever to uh, Mayo, that's for sure. As they are set, it seems, to lose what will be their third final in seven years. And a long, long line of disappointments as O'Shea gets the yellow card. It'll be their sixth All-Ireland final defeat in 23 years since their last victory some 61 years ago and counting at this point in time. Dermot the Brick Malloy has come on and he's come on in uh, place there of, uh, I think it's Martin McElhenney who's come off for the last couple of minutes. It's a case of giving Dermot an opportunity to share in the glory and that's what it's set to be in about another minute's time and it's a free kick to Danny Gall. They were the favourites coming into this. Many people said, how could Jim McGuinness possibly shield his players from all that was happening around them? The county was on fate. There were people coming from all over the world to see Donegal win what would be a second All-Ireland Championship. They kept their feet on the ground. They were resolute and determined. And they have engineered what is certainly a marvellous victory. And finally, it's Rory Kavanagh kicking, and Rory Kavanagh puts that one to the left. It's not going to matter very much, other than that it's the seventh wide. And now we wait for Jim McGuinness and his team to take the salute of the crowd. 15 seconds to go. Referee's looked at his watch. He's going to play at least three minutes. It's sheer agony for Mayo and their followers. No county deserves to lose like they have lost. But it happens, that's sport, and we all know about that. They ran into a very, very tough Donegal team as Michael Murphy went down injured. It's all over! And Donegal are the All-Ireland champions! They'll leap for joy! Jim McGuinness there, Rory Kavanagh! Rory Gallagher, I should say. 20 years on from the day the Tear Connell men won their first. They've won another. Then it was Brian McIniff calling the shots. And now it's Jim. Jim McGuinness has guided a group of talented, highly motivated players. He's challenged them to do it his way, and the players have bought into the notion, and they've realised their potential, and the crowds are staying off the field. It must be very hard for them. This Danny Gold side has beaten Mayo, and it's abject misery for the Connor champions. But today's day is for Jim McGuinness and for Danny Gold. They've done it from a near empty base two years ago in Cross McGlen, where they lost a qualifier to Armagh and they've come through two Ulster campaigns unbeaten to inflict yet another final defeat on Lochless Mayo they'll be taking that Sam Maguire Cup home Donegal the Masters Donegal the Champions Jim has done it they've all done it Donegal are the new winners of the Sam Maguire and an, emo an emotional Quite emotional tsunami is set to sweep over Donegal. More misery, however, for Mayo. <laughs>